Hello, and welcome to the Smartest Builder Online Automation Training. My name is Inder, and I will be your guide. In this video, we'll do a brief overview of the digital and analog inputs on the Luxon Mini Server. Let's get started with the digital inputs. These inputs work by telling you if a circuit is connected or disconnected, or in other words, if the circuit is closed or open. To better understand that, let's take a look at a wiring diagram. For our example of a digital input, we'll use a door contact sensor. From the wiring diagram on the screen, you can see that the DC positive flows from the power supply to the door contact sensor, and then through to the mini server's digital input. When the digital input, in this case the door contact sensor, is connected or the door is closed, the mini server will detect a complete or closed circuit. When the digital input is disconnected or when the door is open, then the mini server will detect a incomplete circuit or an open circuit. This information is used inside the mini server as an input that can then be used to trigger events and notifications. So for our example, send an alert when the door sensor indicates that the door is open or turn on a light or even send an email. Let's move on to the analog input. The analog input is not commonly used in most installations. So in the mini server, it can be used as a digital input. So you aren't wasting any capacity on your mini server. Now let's look at an analog input example. In this example, I've used the analog input to tell us the temperature of a freezer. The probe that's in the freezer sends an analog temperature value to a transmitter, which in part converts that value to a zero to 10 volt analog signal. This signal is then transmitted to the mini server's analog input, where the voltage is read and then converted in the digital config software to a digital temperature value. Once you have the digital temperature value, you can choose what you want to do with it. You can make it a trigger or you can display it on the app. This wraps up the fourth video in our TSB's Luxon 8 introduction series. In this series, we provide a technical overview of Luxon so you get a good idea of what you're investing your time and your money into. So please keep watching this series. And of course, Please remember that at The Smartest Builder, we train our customers to be independent on the Luxon automation system. For us, a smart and independent home is always better with a smart and independent homeowner. Thank you for watching and listening to me today.